Ding, ding, ding. Hello, everyone, and good afternoon. My name is Ali. I'm from Sacred News Tantra, and on this video, I will be catching you up on everything that has taken place in the last couple of weeks. I have been through an initiation and a really intense portal since the beginning of March, and so I'm finally coming around to feel like I can share what's been moving through me and also just to let you guys know what's been alive and present in my reality. My Sacred Touch retreat uh, took place from March 11th to March 18th, where me and my team of Tantric Ministry traveled to Cancun, Mexico to host our very first like international retreat. And so the retreat itself was like a whole portal that we went into. The change had to take place like two weeks before the event where we had to change the venue, we had to find a new chef, we had to find like a whole new flow because we were not able to sell enough tickets to host our retreat at the original Ozen retreat center that we have put the deposit for. We have put the deposit for 20 rooms and unfortunately we were not even halfway through and so Part of this process is learning how to adapt, how to be flexible, and how to move with what is available, and not trying to force things to happen that are just not happening. And so my team and I ended up finding a beautiful Airbnb, like mansion style house, and we ended up having a really intimate and private retreat, which actually felt so much yummier and the few people that were there were ideal and perfect and everything came to be as it needed to be and it was also the first time that we were facilitating this retreat with angel de la paz who i previously only met through online zoom calls and so we also as a team had to learn how to synchronize and come together and for our very first event i have to celebrate us because we we really dove head in. I was really passionate about wanting to host a retreat. I've been wanting a retreat for many years. And now I know what it takes to actually hold space for other individuals and what it takes to cook for a large group of people and what it takes to actually hold the container of harmony and peace and love. And so all the amazing and valuable lessons that I am integrating right now to take on to the journey with me into my entrepreneurship, into my business womanhood, and into hosting another wonderful event next year. And so that's kind of like the gist of the Sacred Touch retreat that we hosted in Cancun, Mexico. While we were at the retreat, my beloved father has passed away after battling cancer for six years. And so it was like day four or five at the retreat where uh, we all gathered in a sacred circle to basically hold space for his soul to transition because he's been in pain and fighting this cancer for many years. And it almost felt like there is like there needed to be like a permission for the soul to leave. And so my beloved had all of his siblings, the, they have a big family, they were all on a WhatsApp call. And we as community at the retreat, at the end of the night, all sat together and we all spoke our prayers. Everybody spoke their unique prayer from their lineage, from their heritage. I spoke the Russian prayer of Ochenash, and other people spoke their prayers from their specific side of faith and so the next morning he ended up passing on which was in a way of a relief because he has been fighting cancer and has been in a lot of pain for many years and so after the retreat my beloved and I took a flight to Salt Lake City Utah to go and attend the funeral of his father and while we were in Utah I got to really enjoy the traditional aspects of the Mormon church celebrations of life. So the funeral was an interesting experience. It was actually my first funeral that I have attended and I felt really grateful to be able to support my beloveds during this sensitive time. And then we also took 
couple extra days after the funeral to stay and to check out the city. We went skiing. He took me all around to different areas of the town. And it was just a really nice experience to go back to. Through the last four weeks of my travels, what I've learned is the importance of gathering yourself together to fill your own cup so that you can come up and show up and serve others from that place of patience, love, and grace. And it's been lots of ups and downs now that I have settled back into Florida. I am now getting ready to welcome my family who's coming to visit me tomorrow through Sunday. I have my mom, her boyfriend, and my grandma who are coming to stay with me. So this is like three big events that are taking place in the last four weeks and I'm breathing through it. I just cleaned up my porch. We painted the patio floor. Benjamin put out some nice plants, like everything feels fresh. And I'm just like feeling this like energy of spring and summer is starting to brew. I'm so grateful for this life, for this journey. And I look forward to seeing what will want to birth through me in the next cycle of my fruitfulness. Right now, I'm in the cycle of self-care, self-love and integration, which is important to remember to give to ourselves so that we're not overburning and overriding ourselves. And yeah. I'm curious to see what will want to awaken through me in my next creative flow. And until then, I have landed back in Fort Lauderdale in my temple here. And I am available for a Tantra massage and healing sessions here in my temple. And if you guys are interested to work with me, please visit my website, sacredmusetantra.com. And I'm here for anyone who needs support, guidance, love, care, or nourishment. All right, my loves, it was so good to catch you up with what's been alive for me. And I look forward to sharing more with you in the divine timing. And so until we see each other again, I hope you all have a beautiful and blissful day. Ciao.